What is up everyone? Welcome back to the Maths Guide. Today we're going to be looking at how to convert from improper to mixed number fractions. So let's begin. Okay, we're going to be working on these three questions today and we're going to find out exactly how to convert them from these horrible looking improper fractions to a mixed number fraction. So an improper fraction looks like this where we have a larger numerator then we have denominator and a mixed number has both a whole number and a fraction a bit like this. And ideally we want our fractions to be a mixed number rather than improper. So let's find out how to do that. So if I look at this first fraction, 17 fourths, what I'm actually saying is that I have 17 quarters. So we could look at 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17. So I could do this bar model and draw this out every time and then I could work out that I actually have one whole, two, three, four whole, so that would be my whole number, four, and I still have one left over over here. So I have one, and what value are we working in now? We're working in quarters, so I'd have one quarter left over. So 17 fourths is the same as saying four and one quarter. Write that a bit better. But we don't want to do that every time. We don't want to have to draw out these bar models. So we need a better way. And that better way is going to be division. Okay, so what we actually have just done here is we divided our 17, our whole 17, by 4. We worked out how many 4s are in 17. We had one group, 2, 3, 4, with one left over. So we had 4 remainder 1. That's where we got our 4 whole remainder 1. So let's try and do division this time then. So we've got 17 fourths, so what we know now is if I put my 17 inside my bus stop and 4 on the outside, how many 4s are there in 1? There are 0, carry the 1 across. How many 4s are there in 17? 4, 8, 12, 16, we get 4, remainder 1. So I would write it as in 4 with 1 left over. But I'm not finished because what are we working in? We're working in quarters. So my answer is actually four and one fourth, four and one quarter. And I'd give myself a big tick for that question. Okay, let's have a look at our second question. We have 18 fourths. Okay, and then when working this out now, we're just gonna use our division method. And I can say 18 divided by four. Okay, how many fours are there in one? We have zero, roll the one across. How many fours are there in 18? I have four again. Okay, how many left over? Well, four got me to 16, so I have remainder two. So we write it, four with two quarters. Nice, and I get myself another green tick. Let's have a look at our final question, 15 fifths. And this one's a little bit different, so let's have a look. So we have 15 fifths like this, and again, I can just use my bus stop method to work out the division, 15 inside, five on the outside, how many fives are there in one? Zero. Roll the one across. How many fives are there in 15? Three. Now we have no remainders this time. So what does this fraction look like? Well, I could simply write it like this. Three. We have three whole. If I have five fifteenths, I have three whole. And I can show that in my bar models again. I'm just going to do a very quick bar model. One, two, Three, so I've got five, 15 fifths. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. So I have a whole one, another whole one, and another whole one. One whole, two whole, three whole. Giving my answer, three whole. Okay, I hope that was useful. Here are three questions for you to have a practice at. See if you can find out the mixed number for this fraction, please. When you get an answer, put the answer in the comment section. I'm going to try and mark every single one. So three questions here. Press pause. Good luck. Okay, guys, hopefully that was useful. If it was, think about subscribing to the channel. Give us a big like. That'd be really helpful. And check out our next video where we're going to be looking at adding and subtracting fractions. So I'll see you in the next video. Peace out.